Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today, guys, I'm checking out Arrowverse characters who shouldn't have died, created by Nightstroke. Great YouTube channel, by the way. Check him out when you can. Link at the top of the description will take you to the video on his channel. Check out his channel. He, he's got some good content. So this video is going to cause a lot of discussion, and that's a good thing because some characters they've killed off in these shows were for a purpose and they made sense. Other times, not so much. So I'm not exactly sure what characters are going to be covered here, but it's over five minutes long, so we're covering a few a few different character deaths, and we're going to talk about it while the video is going through, and then talking at the end, and maybe talk about other characters that were not mentioned that I think also needs to be brought up. So uh, let's full screen this. All right, guys, let's jump into it now. Arrowverse characters who shouldn't have died. Let's jump into it, and let's talk about this stuff. All right, let's go. Spoiler alert. Duh. There's one right there. Hmm. Interesting. Ray Shagul. Unlike you, thousands of honorable men will mourn my death when I leave this earth. No. It's like in a second. You know, I gotta start off, off the bat saying. I'm okay with him dying. I, I don't know what else you could have done with that character. But they brought him back in a flashback on uh, on Legends. Well, not a flashback, when they tra traveled in time. So you could bring him back that way. Okay, this is one I have to agree. Ronnie should not have died. He died twice. Twice. Well, he didn't die the first time, but it was implied for a long time. But then again... Then again... You could say he's somewhere. We didn't see a body. How did Stein survive? I don't know. But I personally still think Ronnie might be out there somewhere. Ooh. I'm sorry. You know. It's not your fault. I'm glad you stopped me. Honestly, I, I don't know about this one. with the tell him there too of course she dies right before saying anything about who he really is so whatever but I don't know about this one I mean this is the biggest well not the biggest one of the biggest deaths I think in the entire Arrowverse he was so good and they fucking kill him because of fucking Warner Brothers Here's the thing, they kill him, a character that you shouldn't like because he's a villain, but you actually care for the character, he's a fucking badass, he's awesome. They kill him, but Cupid is still alive, her right there, Cupid, you keep her alive, but you kill him? Fuck you, Warner Brothers, fuck you. Jesus. I'm okay with this death because honestly, I got tired of Amanda Waller in the Arrowverse because... It was the same stuff over and over and over. She works with uh, Team Arrow and then she betrays him. She works with him, betrays him again. Bam. Bam! Such a weak little thing. Ugh. This, was, this was season four of Arrow. When the show was really at the bottom. It was in the garbage. It was in, literally in the garbage. Oh, Tommy! Fuck! Tommy! This one still hurts. I fucking love Tommy. They got him back for Crisis on Earth X, or Crisis, yeah, Crisis uh, yeah, on Earth X, as Prometheus for one scene, and. But hey, he did get him. Oh, wait, you just <laughs> show her dying and then it's Captain Cold. Yeah, I think they killed him because Whitworth Miller, the actor, um, schedule wise, I think he only signed, because I, I think he he was contracted for one season. His contract was only for one season, so it's like, eh. Shut him down! There are no strings on me. 
Ultron? Kidding. I'm glad that we have him back, even though it's an Earth X version of himself. Ah, oh, fuck. This is a this this is a whole video. It's been discussed for so long of how they fucked up with this. Oliver's arrow. Oliver's arrow kills Laurel. You know what message to get gave her father? You should have killed him instead. That's my argument. You kill Quentin instead of Laurel, that further that furthers the character development for Laurel and Sarah. If you kill Quentin, not fucking Laurel. But I'm not the writer. I'm not the writers on the show, so how the fuck am I supposed to know? This is pretty good. You covered a lot of stuff. There was, there was, and this was created in January of this year, so surprisingly, there was no cover coverage of Stein, Stein's death, um, which he has been around for a long time, and um, it, like, I didn't personally like it because I like Stein, but it made sense because he had been going and he was actually wanting to get out anyway, so regardless, he was going to be out of the picture. So, with the ones that were mentioned, um, Laurel, Deadshot, and Tommy are the hardest ones. And it's funny, all three of those are Arrow characters. <laughs> um, but Ronnie too. That Ronnie, Ronnie sucks. Like they, they, they can't bring, they keep bringing Ronnie back in different forms. They keep killing him. You, he, he's dead in the beginning of season one. He comes back. He dies at the very beginning of season two. He comes back as Deathstorm, and he dies immediately on Earth two. So bad for the actor. They keep killing him. They keep killing him. Um, the Laurel thing, like I was mentioning during, the, during her section, that literally you kill Quentin Lance, that fixes a lot of issues that I have with the show moving forward. Now, they're trying to fix the Laurel thing with Black Siren, but then again, <laughs> they keep doing stuff that make you go, I don't know if she can be redeemed. Um... And the argument is made that Laurel was a bad character. I say Laurel was not a bad character. She was just being written terribly. It's the writer's fault. There was so much potential they could have given to Laurel. The number one thing they should have done with Laurel Lance. For some reason, she should have been in Central City when the particle accelerator exploded. Okay, And that's how she gets her canary cry. You know how Dinah gets her canary cry from the particle accelerator explosion? That's how Laurel should have got her canary cry. Okay, Yeah, sure, you start her off without having it, and then you give it to her. And the argument also is that Laurel, her costume was bad. Costume wasn't good. It, it, it wasn't a good suit. A bunch of buckles. It just made no fucking sense. Number three... They rushed her fight stuff. Like, like They rushed her turning from daughter of Quentin Lance into a superhero. They rushed it. That's the writer's fault. Now, they did show her training a lot, and obviously they had a lot of times where Oliver was against her going out there. It just They rushed some things. They messed up some stuff. And so they tried to redeem it with giving Diana Drake the canary cry via particle accelerator. Okay, but that wasn't Laurel. Now you bring in Earth 2 Laurel, who's Black Siren from Flash Season 2, you bring her into the fold, and then you keep teasing that she's going to get redeemed, and she ends up still doing terrible, terrible shit, so you're wondering how the fuck are they going to spin this to get her getting redeemed. Maybe she never does. Who knows? Tommy getting killed, I think, even though thematically and story-wise, it makes sense for Oliver as a character to deal with that, but at the same time, we didn't get enough development, I think, for Tommy. Like, there was a lot of stuff they did with Tommy in Season 1 before his death. But they should have done more. They should have Maybe they should have waited until Season 2 to kill him. But whatever. Um, and Deadshot. Deadshot was killed not because of story. He was killed because of Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers was making the Suicide Squad film, and they didn't want characters on Arrow and all this. Because like they, they were developing their own Suicide Squad within Arrow, as you guys were seeing in the earlier seasons. It disbanded because Warner Brothers was working on the Suicide Squad film. They cut all that shit. So that's why Amanda Waller died in Season 4 of Arrow. That's why Deadshot died in Season 3. That's why the Suicide Squad they were building in the show was cut and was gone 
because of Warner Brothers. That wasn't because of a story. That Warner Brothers forced them to cut a lot of shit and kill off certain characters. I'm surprised Amanda Waller lasts till season four. I thought she would have died in season three too. Uh, Amanda Waller's death, it didn't really matter to me. Like as I was, like I was mentioning, she has no effect whatsoever on the show. She kept, she worked with the team, then she betrayed. Worked, betrayed. You, you just can't. Like it's the same bullshit, the same cycle. It got boring. Plastique, uh, I, I don't know what you could have done with her more, um, personally. Let's see who else. Ray Shaw Ghoul. I'm just going through all of them in case I missed any. Ray Shaw Ghoul. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know what you could have done with him more. I mean, what they should have done is given him more screen time and more development in Arrow Season 3. But what they gave us, well, okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Uh, it wasn't like Damian Dark terrible. But... I don't know. I don't know what more you could have done with him. The fact that we still have Nissa and we have Talia still out there, so we still have the Al Ghul family in a sense. But I don't know what more you could have done with Raish. I'm not really sure what else you could do. Um, let's see that? Did I miss anybody else? Captain Cold. Um, you know that was a whole, that was an actor thing. I think I don't think Wentworth Miller wanted to do more than one season of Legends like he did flash and all that kind of stuff and then he came in and did legend season one then he came in for the crossover event playing another version of captain cold and he's leaving soon again like forever for good so i don't, I don't think the actor was that invested in the character too much like he plays him amazingly well whether it's captain cold or citizen cold in this or you know what i mean like the earth x version of the character uh i just don't think he's that invested in this uh universe he wants to do other things so What's she gonna do? But uh, this was a pretty good video. I think it was pretty good that the characters that they covered, I think it was a good variety, and we got to see, you know, how they kind of went out in a sense. Um, and it makes me wonder, what's gonna happen? That, like, what's the list gonna be in the next couple of years? Because we're hoping, at least I'm hoping, that these shows continue on and on and on, and we get more shows in the Arrowverse. We can continue these storylines, all this kind of stuff. And I'm curious to know how this list is going to look in a couple of years. Once we go like maybe two or three more seasons of each show, if that happens, who knows? What would the list be then at that point? What will be the list be for the Arrowverse characters who shouldn't have died? Will the list expand more? Will it be the same? And the deaths they do they do later on don't really matter. Who knows? But I'm curious to know what you guys thought about this video, the, the, the list of characters that were included. And if there's any characters that were not included, like Stein, let me know in the comment section below. Let's discuss, let's talk about what Arrowverse characters who shouldn't have died. I mean, the, the ones that were picked out here were pretty obvious. And, you know, they, they, they you, it's, it's debatable whether they should have died or not. But, I mean, I think it's a pretty good uh, video. It's good to discuss. And so let's discuss and let's talk about it. So there you have it, guys. That's the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys later.